Assalamualaikum. You're watching Unplugged TV India. This is Alice Francis. Thanks for tuning in. A decade-long legal battle culminated with the demolition of the Supertex, Apex and CN Towers, popularly known as the Twin Towers, in Noida Sector 93A. The 100-meter-tall structures were brought down nearly a year after the Supreme Court found them in violation of building norms and ordered them to be raised. Preparations were underway for weeks and the agency tasked with the demolition edifies engineering, drilled 9,400 holes drilled into the towers and installed 3,500 kgs of explosives. Extensive safety measures were put in place to safeguard nearby buildings and minimize damage from the blast to bring the towers down. The residents were shifted to another place in the morning on Sunday. On August 28, the appointed date for the demolition, around 5,000 residents of two housing societies adjacent to the Doom Towers, Emerald Court and ATS Village vacated their homes for the day. At 2.30 pm, the detonation button was pressed and the tin towers were reduced to rubble using the implosion waterfall technique. A gigantic dust cloud set off by the blast covered the seed but has mostly cleared as of now. The demolition of the structures leave behind an estimated 80,000 tons of debris, which will be gradually cleared out in the next three months. The towers, which were taller than Delhi's Qutub Minar, became India's highest structure ever to be demolished. The builders demolished the 40-storey twin towers at their own expense. The twin towers, Apex 32-storey and CN, 29th story comprises 915 flats. But what led to the demolition of the ambitious Supertech Twin Towers? The proposed premium residential Twin Towers with space for commercial activities were built by real estate developer Supertech Group after approvals from the New Okla Industrial Development Authority, which is popularly referred to as the Noida Authority. The Twin Towers were in violation of several building codes as observed by the Supreme Court. According to reports, the Noida Authority was complicit in sanctioning the building plan. Initially, the plan was to build 14 towers of 9 floors. In 2009, developer gets building plan revised once again and adds two more towers, Apex and CN with 24 floors. Some residents had raised objections to it, citing violations of building norms. Later on, in 2012, the new plan suggested twin towers with a height of 40 floors. Now, this put Supertech into trouble when Residents' Welfare Association of the Society approached the Allahabad High Court claiming issues with the construction. In 2021, Supreme Court orders demolition with th within three months, observing violation of building norms in collusion with local officials. Remarks that illegal construction has to be dealt with strictly to ensure compliance with the rule of law. The Emerald Coal housing complex developed by Supertech with 15 towers has around 650 flats. If permitted, the demolished Apex and CN towers would have added 915 more flats and 21 shops within the same housing complex and that too in violation of building norms. Now what about the people who had bought flats and the twin towers? The raising of the building namely Apex and CN has caused a huge loss to the company and no doubt. Supertech had collected nearly rupees 180 crore from home buyers and their money is stuck as of now. However, the Supreme Court has directed the company to refund the home buyer's deposit with an interest of 12%. A bench of justices D.Y. Chandrachur, A.S. Bopanna, and J.B. Pardiwala said that the home buyers of the Twin Towers will get their total refund, but for the time being, they will be paid rupees 1 crore, which will be deposited by the Interim Solution Professional, which is IRP, of the firm by September 30. The erstwhile management of Supertech had earlier told the court that only 59 more home buyers are left to be refunded 
while the rest of them have been refunded or shifted to other flags of the company. Thank you for watching and plug TV India. Please hit like, subscribe and share.